I'm standing with the lovely Chris Toth from XR Navigation, and uh, this is an accessible map thing that we're going to be talking about today, right? So we have a built a technology that lets us make any kind of map on the internet accessible. It's really cool stuff. We've got right now a demo here with a playground, but we can work with all kinds of maps from neighborhood maps, election maps, excuse me, all sorts of things. So how does how does this work? What what is it a, a visually impaired person would experience with your your service. So right now when you go see a map online and you have a screen reader, a lot of the times those maps will not at all be accessible. They'll be essentially a blank graphic. So what we've been able to do is we can kind of take the same data that powers those maps. It's usually in a format called GeoJSON and we can pull that into our system and process it in such a way that we render it out in audio, 3D audio, so that you can understand the relationships and like the angles between objects and essentially understand exactly what an environment looks like before you would actually physically go there. So this helps with trip planning and all kinds of stuff. And like so, I said, so by angles and stuff, are you saying like it'll say turn 30 degrees to the to the north or exactly? Or not only that, but you can kind of literally explore the map on a one meter resolution so that you can sort of feel the uh, relationships between the things. So feel? I thought it was on a website. How am I going to feel it? When I say feel, I mean so you're sense it works with uh, headphones on so you're going to be using the keyboard and while you're using the keyboard the audio is going to give it's sort of like when you're going over a chessboard or something like that and it would tell you here's like this coordinate and here's whatever is in that coordinate like uh, for instance if you're walking over grass you'll hear the sound of grass or whatever oh my gosh that's really cool so when I say feel it's it really allows you to uh, sense maybe yeah, it's a a audio word. but in audio in that yes. case right so if I just want to see uh, outside of this hotel, well, how, how would I do that? So you can literally just go to audium, A-U-D-I-O-M dot net, and you can put in the address of our hotel. We just got a standard like address picker uh, widget on there. And once you've done that, you, it'll just pull it down from OpenStreetMap, and you can directly get that information uh, and explore these maps. Oh, that's crazy cool. Now, you've got a demo here. We're not sure how this is going to work. because a small demo here, and I'm not sure if we can necessarily show it, but at least we can show the basics of it. Okay, um, so let me describe to the audio audience. Um, we're looking at a, at a picture of, uh, did you say it was a, a playground? Yes, a and there's a giant speaker here that's going to start talking to us when you start pushing buttons, right? Correct. So when, when the actual blind user uses this, most of the time you're going to use it with headphones. Um, so this speaker is going to be a little bit misleading of an experience just because you can't really understand the stereo field as well. But in general, when you've got the when you've got the headphones on, you can hear a full spatial like oh here's a sound behind me or whatever. Oh, it's spatial audio. Oh, oh, cool. Okay. So step step closer to me, and you're backing up again. There we go. Okay. And. Gave feedback on the voting Okay, now he's ready for the demo. We'll do a cut there. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Welcome to Audium. Let's explore the world together from real places to much more. So this ready to learn how it works? And kind of get us ready to the map. To hear it again. It's feeling a bit quiet. Let's bring in some sounds. And the important part we're about to see here is the audio. So I'm going to press this P key to bring in the audio. Now. Playing sounds. Can you hear the world buzzing around? We're on a playground with lots to explore. Arrow keys can be used to move. Take your first step by pressing the up arrow. So, like, like I said here, there's a whole audio environment around you, and as you move through it, you can, as you're interacting with it, like we're on a bridge right now, so as I step forward on that bridge... Because they're looking at... Should. I think Steve messed you up because he clicked something, so now he got you out of your demo. Okay, there we're... Memory error. We're getting back in. Don't touch the keyboard, Steve. I didn't. I touched the mouse. Yeah. Check it. We're back right, into the demo. So yeah, we've got these 3D sounds around us, and now when you hit any, any of the keys, as you're walking around, you'll hear the sound of whatever surface you're stepping on. So we're on a bridge right now. Amos Bridge, 30. Heard that footstep? The sounds change when you step on new objects. 
entire rest of the 3D audio environment around you updates. So all the other sounds, all the other angles are going to update. That's very cool. I think we should stop the audio here because uh, it's getting a little, little confusing with both sounds going. So again, we, we go to Audium, A-U-D-I-O-M.net, and you put in any address, and it'll look it up in, in OpenStreetMaps and create this for you. Yes. That's so cool. Thank All right, you very much. so your company's called XR Navigation, and uh, is there sales to any other kind of corporate environments or anything you work on? We're primarily trying to partner with universities right now, um, and so we make campus maps accessible. And so if you do have, if you are work at or are a student at a university, reach out. Oh, great, great, great. We'll make sure that happens. And how would they reach out to you? We, uh, that is xrnavigation.io, and we've got a contact form right there. Perfect. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank that you. was great.